Okay. See what just see what time it's still early, but um, just it's just it just pisses me off that you know some people just don't choose to follow their dreams. They end up giving up on it, and then they try to attack others. You know, just because they don't have a dream, they don't have a dream, or they don't have like a passion, and they don't choose to follow and chase it down. Yet they want to just give up on it and just try to attack someone who chooses to follow their dreams instead. Oh, you're lazy. You're lazy, and all this kind of stuff, and um. Just because someone chooses to follow my dreams, I, you know, choose to follow their dreams and what they're passionate about and they want to turn in what they're passionate about and what they love doing most as their main focus and put their time, effort, hard work, dedication, and, you know, their sleepless nights into that certain thing that they're really trying to do. And people don't understand that and they just try to shit on you and slam on you, you know, slam you for what you want to do, what you're passionate about judge you when they don't know your fucking story at all they haven't been in your shoes they don't know what you go through outside of the fucking website or anything like that outside of video games and not realizing what that person go through on a daily basis their side of the story where they're coming from why they do what they do why they're passionate about what they do and stuff like that and why they choose to not give up and don't want to you know continue to push for and try to prove others wrong and thinking that they're lazy and they don't want to do anything with their life. They're not going to amount to shit or anything like that. And get slammed like that. I got that kind of shit this year. You know. And you know. It motivates me to keep going. And I feel like I got so much farther. You know. I never expected to get this far. And I know I said this a lot of times. I never expected to get this far. I even expect to be a YouTuber. Because I'm hella shy. I'm shy. You know. But I feel so good right in front of this camera. Because I got you know. Less camera shy. I feel comfortable when I'm doing this. You know, all this stuff. You know, I feel great. You know, doing this, and I feel like I'm doing something right because I have accolades, these sponsorships, and all this kind of shit. You know, you know, you guys backing me and supporting me, and just you know, spreading the word. It's just so many of you guys out there. I can't thank you guys enough. It's not one thank you that can. That's enough. You know, I don't think that's enough to really show my appreciation for you guys. You know, try and do giveaways and stuff, but you know. You know, to give back, you know, and include you guys with the videos and the videos. I thought that was a way of giving back, and I want to continue doing that. But um, just going back to what I was saying, you know, just I just feel like everyone should follow their dreams. And I feel like no one should be judged for whatever they want to do. But I just feel like everyone sees, like, if it's not, if they're not going to make enough money out of it, they're going to give up on it. They're going to quit. They're going to quit and give up on it and completely drop it. But they don't even know what, you know, what might happen if you continue to, you know, chase down your dream, follow your dream and continue to follow your passion and what you're dedicated to find out who you are. And I feel like, and I'm going to say this, I feel like I found out who I was. You know, I found out a lot about who I am with this year because I never knew who I was. You know, I always knew I love video games. Hell, I, love, I just... I just love fucking playing. I love playing video games. And, you know, I always thought I was a gamer. And I was just like, you know, just making videos. I said, this is the only thing that comes to my head every day I fucking wake up. I get up every day and do this. I know who I am. I know what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I know I'm a YouTuber. You know, it's the only thing I co that comes to my mind. This is the only thing, you know. I wake up, you know. You know, get something to eat. Go, you know, get ready and just try to decide what do I want to put out today? What videos do I want to put out today? Do I want to play this game? Do I want to play this? Do I want to focus on this game? Do I want to make a vlog today? You know, it's just all so many things that came into play with this. You know, so many thoughts that come into this. And, you know, I just found out who I was this year. You know, this 2015, as 2015 comes to a close, I know who I am. I know what I want to do, what I'm trying to pursue, what I'm trying to become. I want to be great. You know, I want to be a great YouTuber to you guys. I want to entertain people, continue to bring entertaining content. I just found out who I was, you know, this year. This was a year for me to find out what I want to do, you know, figure that out. And I was really just trying to figure it out. I was like, man, I was just so stunned. I said, I got this YouTube thing, but I was just like, I don't know what else I want to do, you know. There's nothing else I want to do because, you know, I thought I wanted to be something else. Hell, I, wanted, I thought I wanted to be a dentist, you know, but that's not what I want to do. I was just like... I play games every day, you make videos every day, you record every day, you interact with fans every day. This is the stuff I was thinking about. I interact with fans every day. Uh, I play with fans and people who are fans of my stuff in real life every day and game with them every day. I'm a YouTuber, you know? So, 
that's just the stuff I just thought about, you know? And that's how, you know, this has been, like, just something that was, you know, that was going through my head all throughout the years of this month. Just, like, just trying to figure out what I want to do. You know, what I do, I want to continue to do this. I never thought about quitting. I never thought about quitting. It never occurred to me, oh, I want to give this up. I don't, I don't, I don't, I want to quit. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not liking it. I'm not enjoying it. You know, that never came to my head. You know, I'm just having so much fun with this. And just another negative, you know, just being down. I didn't even have this laptop here, you know, at the time when, you know, during E3 week. So that just brings me forward. I was still getting those tweets and stuff and, you know, and all that, you know, new comments on the videos and stuff. Just that I just ignore and close out and stuff. Just more views to the videos, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, during the week of E3, you know, I didn't you know. That's when my computer went down. You know, I, I couldn't make videos. I said, man, I can't even cover the conferences. I can't cover E3 or none of that shit. You know, the game conferences, I said, man, it's got to be a way I could try to, you know, it's got to be a way to cover these conferences. So, you know, I found out about webcam videos. So I said, that was the only thing I could do. And one thing I found out about webcam videos is just that you don't have to wait for the videos to upload. Once you record your webcam videos, um, once you completely hit in, it'll published to the channel you didn't have to wait for no upload time regardless even if it was like a 22 24 minute video 30 minute i could go as long as i could you know as long as i wanted to the video will upload immediately and it was limited to 360p but that was just like a major negative for me but you know it just made me want to branch out and make different vlogs so you know i may end up making that vlog with the draw my life which some people really enjoy you guys really love that I had some shitty drawings. I had some bad drawings. I'm not the best drawing. I've never been a, like a, a artist or you know artistic type of person that's creative like that. You know, with the best drawing, with, you know, like people have deviant art and stuff. I know people have those you know great, awesome looking uh, arts and drawings and stuff like that. But I've never been like an artist. I always sucked at art. You know, just drawing stick figures. But you know, regardless of how bad my drawings were, I got like a lot of positivity f from that video. You know, the ratings. And all that stuff that I didn't expect, and people said, "Oh, this is a great vlog." You know, so you know, we found out more about you with this, you know, with this video, you know, this draw my life video that I didn't expect to do. And you know, and all the other draw my life videos were completely different because they were completely fast. You know, they had great drawings, and you know, they were, you know, drawing quickly like that. You know, to make the video quicker and stuff to explain all the life events and stuff. But you know, mine were different. I did a different take on it. Um, I feel like it was one of my favorite vlogs this year, for sure, and I loved it. You know, having those um, little drawings and talking about myself, you know, my where I was born, how I got into YouTube, passions, video games, stuff that I went through. I don't know what that was outside, but um, um, um just all that stuff. This the the drawings. It just like the vlog was just like a great. Experience for me, you know, just being on webcam, regardless of just to be in a whole negative factor, you know, of not being able to upload gameplay videos. And know, I know most people were asking about it constantly. Oh, uh, I, I'm, re I'm really missing the Call of Duty series. And uh, what about the other play? Or what about the other playthroughs? Is it going to be more Vice City? Where's Golden Eye? Are you going to play more Golden Eye? You know, I just like I can't play those games. You know, what's the point? You know, what's the point of recording more videos? I was recording more uh, Vice City. You know, I was playing Vice City on um, off camera. Because I was grinding, I was grinding for like um, doing those missions, you know, taxis, firefighters, and uh, vigilante. I didn't do any vigilante because I didn't, I didn't want to spend money buying the damn weapons. Because you know, if you die, you have to, you know, buy the weapons again. You know, but I, I made it to the point where I could just keep reloading with the we weapons that I have, so I wouldn't have to go repurchase the weapons if I was to mess up or something. But I was playing through those games, you know, Vice City, just you know grinding for so I can get those properties, you know, those properties and those assets that you had to get to unlock the final mission. But, you know, that was the only thing I was really doing. It's like, I can't really, it's no point of me recording because I can't really, I can't, you know, upload the, almost, <laughs> burnt to the camera. I don't want to do that. Uh, I can't really record, like, the videos. It wouldn't be no point because I can't upload the videos at all. You know, so when I said I'll just wait until you know. That's when um, a fan in real life came along and just you know contacted me, and you know I ended up sending a deal with him, and then he ended up helping me. So you know I'm just helping, just very thankful for that. But that was just you know, other than that, those are just like that would just be like the, I would say that's the top negative. You know, besides the you know the 
the craziness that goes on with you know on Twitter, Twitter wars, people going back and forth. And it wasn't just bad people, just also you know, just ne just negative people just trying to attack me. It was also people backing me. This is just I don't know. If end up following me on Twitter, going to the channel. What is this guy talking about? What are you know? What's his videos? What what did he talk about? What did he say in the video? It's just it ended up causing lots of attention, you know, both positive and negative, you know. But you know, I feel like some of the you know, I feel like it ended up it had like a trade off. It ended up paying off because you know it helped me gain more you know fans and subscribers and more people respect me for who I am and what I do. But you know. I, I continue to follow my dream and you know I, I, I don't give a fuck what anyone says oh you're doing this wrong you should be doing this you should be doing that like who are you to fucking dictate me on what I should be doing what are you doing you know you know just because I choose to follow my fucking dream and you want to shit on me and try to attack me just because I have the passion and the guts and the, the guts and the fucking boss to follow my dream and not give up on them just to be fucking something I'm not be someone that I don't want to be and someone something that end up doing something I don't enjoy doing, like, you know, just because you gave up on your dreams and you're going to try to attack me and try to shit all over me, oh, okay, you know, you know, big deal, like, I don't give a fuck, I'll just, you know, brush it off and just say, you know, fuck you, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter, it's just like, it doesn't matter what you should, you know, what you want to do, whatever you, whatever you want to become, I think that people should follow their dreams, that's what I believe in, you know, and just from this year alone, I just got that, you know, I understood who I want to be. I'm just, you know, it motivated me more. And this has just been another year for motivation for me. You know, motivation to just keep going and keep pushing forward. You know, and I gotten this far with all these accolades and positive, you know, feedback and positive things that happened to me going towards the end of the year. That has been great, you know, and just being even more liked and respected for who I am for people who didn't even know me didn't even know the channel and know me as a YouTuber and follow my videos and content, you know, and they understood who I was and, you know, from my videos and followed it, you know. So, you know, uh, those are just like made through all the negatives I went through, just, you know, being criticized for, you know, doing this and, you know, begin, just because I choose to follow my dreams and all, all you, you give it up, you go quit, do something else. Uh, you suck and all that stuff, and, you know, just because I'm passionate and, you know, I choose to follow my dream every day and I'm and going into the new year, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to continue to follow my dream, fuck everybody else who disagrees and says, oh, you should go do something else and do, uh, do this, that, and the other, you know, give up and do something else that's going to give you, you know, make you more money and all that stuff. You know, fuck doing that. You know, I, you know, what's the, what's the, what's the point of doing that? Or oh, I'll just be going it, going to it, going to it, and getting into it. Oh, because I, I just want to make the money. I don't care about what they're doing. It. I don't love it at all. I just want to make money in it. You know, I, I don't agree with that. You know, and I think most people, if you have a dream, follow it. If you, if you have a dream, just continue to do it. Push for it. Pursue it. Chase it. Don't stop. No matter what anyone says, because. And I feel like once you make that dream come true, those all those people who you know, those naysayers and all those people who didn't believe in you, they'll all of a sudden turn around and try to act like they supporters and act like they actually supported you from day one. And they all and when they are really just the ones that just talk shit about you in the back and behind your back, and they just try to jump on your bandwagon and jump on your fucking dick and be dick riders and bandwagoners just because and act like they were supporters where they never was there. They never contributed to anything to your success. They weren't there to support you spread the word and they didn't understand your struggles they didn't understand your story and your side of the things your dedication your passion and your reason for doing what you do you know they just all of a sudden turn around just they all of a sudden turn around and just be like oh now he's oh he made it oh i'm surprised oh i'll just go and act like i supported him and say oh i was there i was there when i supported you like you didn't contribute anything did you contribute to his success this this him or hers uh you know, this person's success, guy or girl, did you contribute to their success? Did you support them? Were you there when they went, what they went through? Were you there when they were struggling? Did you understand what they were trying to go through? You know, do you understand what they were trying to do? Do you know their story? You didn't, you know? And I just hate that kind of shit. You know, I've seen that stuff on social media. And some people that I even know in real life that are, you know, big time seekers and models now, people are jumping on them. Like, you guys never even talked to them at all. You guys just 
followed them and just got on their bandwagon just because you found out they made it big. You guys didn't talk to them, associate them, associate yourselves with them as a friend or anything like that. You guys didn't have a friendship at all. And now you guys want to try to be their friend just because they made it big and they're big time singers now, becoming models and they're making, they're, they're, they're probably going to most likely have appearances on a TV show now. Now you guys want to act like bandwagoners and act like, oh, just because I went to school with him and this, that, and other, I'm going to support and be a bandwagoner and just act like I was a supporter the whole time. Like, you know, it's it's just a lot of shit that I've seen this year, you know, with that shit. You know, it's just so stupid. You know, like the fake ass supporters, you know, fake people who you think that's supporters, and when they actually out there to bring you down, they talk shit about you behind your back, and then they disagree with what you're doing, and then when they find out you have like a good thing, you make you have like an accolade or you hit a milestone and you got something going for yourself, now they wanna jump on there and try to be a supporter and try to back you and stuff like that, and like they actually were supporters. Like, you guys weren't even supporters in the beginning. Now that you, you talk shit about this person, and then you try to make fun of them and bring them down because of what they want to do, and now you you attack, and now you see that they have something going that could have the potential to go further, you know, go further in their career or whatever they want to do, and now you want to act like a fucking supporter? Get the fuck out of here, you know? Get the fuck out of my face with that, you know? You're not going to, you know, come back, you know, into my life and try to be a supporter. You know, be a all of a sudden support when you were a naysayer from the get go, talking shit, trying to bring that person down, bursting down and saying, "Oh, this person doesn't have anything going for their life, and they're lazy and this, that, and another." And you didn't even understand what they were doing, and you, you want to try to jump on their bandwagon. You know, it's just a shame to see that stuff. But that's just like the negative shit that I've seen. I mean, some stuff, negative stuff that I got. And, you know, some people that I thought were supporters out there, you know, from the shit situation I been went through from early in the year with this laptop issue. Yeah, I went through that. I talked about it and all that stuff. They were never supporters to begin with. They were fake and they were, uh, you know, they weren't really supporters. They were just trying to bring me down, you know, and lie to me and stuff like that. And just to make it seem like they were supporters, you know, they weren't, you know. I got that, you know, this year too, so, you know. Every year has its positives and negatives. Those are just all the negatives all at once. But, you know, I'm thankful to be, you know, still here to do this. I want to check the tire one more time. 17 again. I, every time I've checked it, I checked it the last time. It was a 17-minute video. But um, I'm going to make one more video um, to talk about, you know, you know, things going forward. You know, and some, you know things I thought about doing. And, um... um and I just want to discuss the negatives and all that stuff. But um, that's basically everything, you know, positive and negatives. But now I want to talk about, you know, what am I looking forward to next year and, you know, into the new year, uh, you know, giving thanks and all that stuff. And then, you know, and that's going to be it. And that's going to conclude my year in review videos. And I don't know what to call this year in review or my 2015 in review. I don't know what I'm going to call these. But um, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, um, I'm not gonna probably have plenty having videos out because I'm gonna be you know doing a New Year's festivity, festivities and stuff um, in the middle of this week starting you know basically Wednesday. So I'm gonna start trying to have some of these videos out over the course of this week and then you know going into the New Year, you know maybe possibly uh, I don't know maybe possibly Sunday I have more gameplay videos out. But I talked about a lot in these videos, so I'm de I'm definitely not gonna probably try to have anything else out other than these videos because I think this is the best way to end the New Year. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but I, I think this is the best way to end the new year. Um, it's probably from this light, you know, from all this, uh, this is right next to me, but it's probably from this shirt too, because this shirt is brand new still, brand spanking new, I got it for Christmas, one of the other shirts that I got, but uh, that's the stuff, I, I think it's going to be a great, you know, uh, this was a great way to end the year with these videos to talk about the year and all the stuff I've been through to be open with you guys to talk about it and all that stuff so I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos I'll, again I'm about to start one more video and you know give thanks and talk about some other things that I have thought about doing going to you know going forward and stuff so uh, thank you guys for watching I know have, they have been long but hopefully people watch every you know bit of these videos and uh, you know try to you know find out about my year and you know just to be open and share with you guys. So I'll be right back for one more video.